So, I recently on Facebook saw a debate of people discussing the idea of licensure to own a horse. Not teach riding, not training, just to own it. And I would love to hear what the TikTok community has to say, but I'm going to like just share a little bit of my thoughts and then I want to hear what you have to say. Number one, from my very limited understanding, in order to have licensure, you have to have a standard, which means that you would have to have a standard of care um, that everyone would have to be held to. And I am not sure how I feel about that. On the one hand, I see how that would be nice because it would prevent some abuse. It still wouldn't prevent all of it. Also, number two, if you had licensure to own a horse, you would have to have a standard level of training, not just for the horse, but for the people. So like the horses would have to have a standard level of training because if they don't meet that standard, then they shouldn't be allowed to be sold. They need to undergo proper training. But also, the people owning the horses would have to undergo training because they need to know how to take care of a horse. They need to know nutrition. They need to know confirmation. They need to understand how different body parts work. Um, and I will talk more on that in just a second because I have thoughts. In order to have a license... A licensure to own a horse you would have to have a standard level of education and care as well as tests you would have to test people to see their competency and that can lead to problems and I'll explain that in a minute but let me keep going there would be things that become illegal and we all know based off of the countless dramas that have been started across all social media platforms that that would create quite a problem because so-and-so thinks that this is abuse and so-and-so thinks this is and so-and-so thinks this is. And the problem is none of the so-and-sos tend to agree. So why? Why do they want licensure? Because in theory, they're hoping that it will prevent abuse, misuse, and green riders getting green horses and that it would be a safer environment for everyone. So the problem with the idea of licensure is that you would either have to have it be so elitist that the community would be microscopic or you would have to make it so simple that any Joe, Dick, Tom, Harry, Sue, Sally, Mary can get one. The lo standard would either have to be so high or so low there's no good middle ground because the people who are up here think that the people down here are still abusing the horses. And the people down here think that the level up here is unachievable and unattainable. So, the problem is you can't pick the middle because no matter what, whoever's at the top is going to look down and say, well, they're not taking good enough care of their horses. But also... If the level is too low, it defeats the entire purpose of licensure because the entire purpose is to keep people who should not own horses out of horses. Another reason that I think this is a bad idea is because the people at, say you make it so easy that every Tom, Dick, and Harry, you know, Joe, Sue, Sally, can get one. Then they can use that as an excuse for abuse. Because they'll say, well, I can't be abusing them because I'm licensed. How many people have been licensed and abused people? A lot. Another reason I think licensure is a very bad idea is because you would have to have your pasture pet owners, your weekend riders who just go on trail rides and enjoy owning a horse, and children educated on the same level as a Grand Prix rider. Why? Because if everyone has to have a license to own a horse, then either the first group has to be educated on the same level as the Grand Prix rider, or the Grand Prix rider has to be educated on the same level as, you know, the first group. 
Not to mention that this raises the question of, because we have so many disciplines, how do you choose? How do you decide which discipline is the discipline to educate people in? You could say, well, we don't need to pick a discipline. We're just going to educate them in general writing. Okay. Then you have to decide how much education do they have to have? Because you could say, well, they need to know how to walk, track, canter, stop, back up, and direct their horse for, for riding skills alone. Okay. Um... Western pleasure riders do spur stops. Um, barrel racers say, well, when they go around barrels, but they don't actually mean stop. And dressage riders have half halts. Which would you like to choose? That's the problem. Everybody rides and trains differently, and there is nothing wrong with that. So why do I share this long, not entirely thought out, and very theoretical, probably never going to happen, but it could, theory? because of one of the comments. So in the discussion, I um, followed it and I just kind of read through the comments because I love a good drama. And sometimes I just like to read through, especially on ones like this where I think the answer is very obvious and I don't want to get in a long debate. And one of the comments was that in order to get a driver's license, you have to be taught how to take care of the car. And I'd love to hear from the audience how many of y'all had to actually learn how to take care of your car. I didn't. I didn't learn how to change my oil. I didn't learn anything about taking care of my car to get a driver's license. You know what I learned? How to drive the car so that I didn't kill everybody around me. That's it. I learned how to read signs and you know, rules of the road, some very basic information, and then it was a test to gauge my skills and comprehension of the information shared, not how to take care of my vehicle. And, and do you know what this woman's response was? Well, I'm sorry someone failed you. Why is someone else having a different education considered a failure? It's not. There's no failure in my education. I've never even been stopped for a ticket. I've never been pulled over. Clearly no one failed me in my education. But I'm failed in my education because I didn't learn like you. Because I don't think the way you do. Surely this is not the case. In my experience, the government has its fingers in plenty of stews. It ruins plenty of things. And yes, that is my opinion. And if you disagree, that's fine. I don't think we need a license to own horses. I think that's a very wild idea. Um, obviously, if you think that is something we should do, I'd love to hear your argument as for why. Because like I said, this is kind of like a only partially thought out idea because I thought it was so insane that I didn't really want to waste a lot of time. That was, this whole spiel was a grand total of five minutes of thinking about it and figuring out why it would not work. Um, obviously, with enough legislation and enough rules, you probably could make licenses to own a horse. But why? It will not eliminate abuse. It won't. It just makes it more cagey, maybe. And honestly, I feel like it would make it even easier to abuse them because all you'd have to do is say, well, I'm a licensed trainer, so I can't. I'm licensed. Um... And I could be wrong, like, I mean, I could be very wrong, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, please keep it respectful, and if I'm wrong, tell me, just be respectful. But, yeah, I don't think licenses to own a horse is a great idea.